In today's Design Undefined with Sarah Shirelli from Artful Conceptions, we are shedding light on the best lighting in your home. Good morning. Welcome Good morning. back. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about lighting. We kind of briefly touched on it a little while ago, but talk about the importance of lighting because I feel like it's very easy to overlook how important it is in your home when you're decorating. It is probably one of the most important things in your home. It's kind of like if you have the wrong shoe with an outfit. Yes. You just feel like it's not quite right the whole time. Same kind of a thing with lighting. But it's kind of hard, I feel like, to miss or to know where you're going wrong. That's why I think experts like you can help with this. Absolutely. And so we love to, to work with you right in the very beginning and put a lighting plan together for you. We kind of talked yesterday about how there's three types of lighting. So you have your functional lighting. You know, those are your can lights, your recessed lights, your directional lights. Maybe they highlight a piece of art on the wall or they're just purely for function. They're on okay. dimmers. Highly so we can see. So you can see, just so you can see through the space. So you have enough light when you're in your kitchen cooking to make sure that you're seeing everything that you need to see you're not cutting your fingers so and the, I highly recommend on dimmers I think all can lights should always be on dimmers ah okay because is there such thing as too much light? There's such thing as too much okay. light. <laughs> Good to know. You know, it's that first thing in the morning, maybe a yeah. little bit lower on the light instead of like the full blast the sun just came into my uh -huh. kitchen. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> so, or in the evening time, you know, be able to put it down on a dimmer. You can still watch TV. You can still have a conversation, but it doesn't have to be daylight inside. Well, lighting, from what I get, I mean, it's mood changing. I mean, it affects your mood. Absolutely, absolutely. So you can do everything from specialty kinds of light bulbs where they are are actually like sunlight light bulbs and highly recommend changing those old can lights to LED lights okay. because then you're saving on your energy at the same time. But let's talk some fun. Uh, these are awesome. I love these lamps. And I feel like you just can't go anywhere and find these cool lamps. No, these are all kind of really specialty ones that we buy directly from the manufacturers that we have tons of fun with. I call this my updated puka shell. Because okay. it's, you know, they're gorgeous. They're all shells, but they make the pretty flowers. They look kind of like a, like a peony or a rose or a beach rose or something like that. And it gives you a little touch of an updated beachy feel without having to be. We here in Florida know that beachy feel yeah. well. A lot of our <laughs> homes have done there, been there, done that. Exactly. So it's beachy without flamingos okay. and, yep. uh -huh. I get and where you're that going. whole kind of a thing. So, you know, just little touches of it. Doesn't well, you mean... know what I love is texture. I've learned from you how mm -hmm. important it is to have different things with different textures on it. That's right. a great way to do that. Exactly. And it's not overpowering. And being all in those white shells, it's very soft feeling at the same time. So we're adding texture, we're adding design, but we're adding a softness and also. more importantly adding light and adding light exactly <laughs> so you are a big fan of lamps you say this is absolutely should every room have a lamp or every room, you? every room should have a lamp every not only room, should okay. every room have a lamp your entry should have a lamp if you have like a buffet or a console table or something you should have at least one lamp okay. on it and they don't have to match. They don't have to match. Although if they're right next to each other, they probably should okay. match. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, talk about some of the other ones you brought in too. So, you know, the gold is so popular. Mm -hmm. Like it's really coming back. And this is kind of a combination of something that we talked about earlier, the mercury glass and the gold. So oh. you kind of have that antique yep. feel. And then you have some of those gold touches that are just really so popular coming mm -hmm. back in. They add some warmth and fantastic for this time of year as well. Yeah. Talk about color with this one too. This is so much fun. So Murano glass, all blown and swirled around to make a gorgeous lamp from mm. it. And we can do all different kinds of things. So think of those really cool, amazing vases mm -hmm. that you've seen, those Murano vases. We can probably have a lamp made okay. out of something like that. Let's talk about the shades with these two because I'm not seeing the old school. What were the, the shades? Oh, with the, the, with the little the pleating. Yes. So yes. those are out, no, I'm those assuming? Are out. Okay. Yes, no, right. no little so ridges. Never be in your home. Yes. <laughs> okay. If they are, there's a shade shop. You can change them out. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so how easy is it to find? Maybe you have something that's got a pretty basic that you want to use, but you do need to update something. Is that pretty easy to do? It is really pretty easy to do. And the main thing that you want to make sure when you're doing it is to make sure you're hiding all the works inside. Okay. So like the biggest faux pas that I'll see when people change out a light is that they put it on and then the shade's too small and now I can see where the light bulb goes into the lamp. <laughs> okay. Don't do that either. <laughs> Talk about chandeliers too. And I know you had some examples you wanted to show. Are you a fan of chandeliers? I'm a huge fan of chandeliers. I love a chandelier in a dining room. I love a chandelier in a living room. I love a chandelier on either sides of the bed. Mm -hmm. I mean, lighting. What about bathrooms. I bathrooms. love them in bathrooms over a tub. I love them in bath. Well, we have to be careful okay. over a tub. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. 
Mm, building code doesn't like us. We've got to be five feet away from the top. Well, yes, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's exactly, exactly what I meant. But they look fantastic, yes. and if you don't have to have the building inspector yes. come by, go ahead over the top. No, just over five feet. You got to be over five feet. Okay. So more pendant style okay. or drum style than big chandelier style over the top. Awesome. Well, as we kind of wrap up here, what's your main important uh, tip? Do you want people to know when it comes to lighting? The main important tip is to make sure you have it. Okay. So don't be dark. If there's a switch to the room, it should be connected to a light that you turn on when okay. you walk in the room. I like that. Makes it easy. We love when you're here. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you. All right. In the meantime, there is to find out. Again, maybe you want one of these pretty lamps. She can help you find them. There is the website and phone number to contact her.